Good morning traders and welcome to the Daily Call today, Monday the 24th of April. Before we get started, as always, please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Okay, so let us kick off and have a look at what happened in the final session of last week on Friday. We'll start off in the UK and we had retail sales come in at minus 1.8% um, to the forecast of minus 0.3%. Now that's um, the three months basically to March shows a decrease in retail sales and that makes it the third consecutive decrease in a three month pattern. So that's the current situation with the UK. If we move along, we had in Canada, we had our consumer price index come in at 0.2%, a little under the forecast, and uh, the loony reacted a little bit to that uh, in the trading session. Now, the major news that happened, happened over the weekend, it was the, the French elections, which were affecting the Euro. Now, let's just talk a little bit about this so that we understand what's basically happened. Now, Essentially, the result of after the first round of elections uh, is that it's for the first time ever in modern French history that all the mainstream centre right or centre left parties that have ruled government uh, for France since post uh, since the World War II will not make it to the second round of presidential elections. In other words. The next president will come from uh, a far right, far left, or an independent party. Now, as it's happened, um, Macron, which is the independent party, will now surely, he, he's got the most votes over the weekend at 24%. Le Pen was at 21.8%. Now, Macron will surely now receive the mainstream support from politicians. Um, and look, as a consequence, we are starting to see a little bit of a pattern of what happened in the US with Trump winning, something that was a sort of unexpected. The euro this morning has gapped at about 170 pips as a result of that. So of course we still need to go to the final elections to see who will end up becoming the next uh, president in uh, in France. So time for now to look at our chart of the day. Now because of the huge gap that occurred over the weekend, Really, I don't really have a chart for you today, but let's just talk about what I do have. I'm showing you the Euro USD, and as you can see from my chart over here, we can see that uh, the price this morning has opened about 170 pips uh, away from where it closed on Friday. Uh, we did warn uh, all of our clients. We uh, explained that margin requirements are going to be changed. Most brokers that I know reduce margin for this exact reason. Uh, to protect uh, both the brokers and the clients from uh, possible exposure. Um, what this does set up for us now is uh, I've been tracking this uh, channel. Let's look for something to occur up here on the fringes and we may get a trade out of it. Unfortunately today I don't actually have a, a set trade to go. Uh, the gap in nature of the weekend spoiled all my charts so there's nothing I can do about that. But there you go, that's our chart of the day. It's the EURUSD daily on a channel. Let's see if it pops up for us very shortly. All right, let's have a look at what's uh, about to unfold in the session that's about to start. Uh, it's Mondays are usually a little bit quiet, so all we have today is at six o'clock. We have uh, the German Info a Business Climate number. Of course, this is in my local time, which is Australian Eastern Standard Time. Uh, don't forget guys, tomorrow is Anzac Day in Australia and New Zealand, so uh, there will be no daily call, it's a public holiday over here, but of course the markets are still open, so uh, just make a, a mental note of that. As always, if you do have any questions, please feel free to contact us, follow me on Twitter at, at ChatFX uh, for trade setups and breaking news. Most importantly, I hope you all have a fantastic trading day. For those of you who will come to the full market analysis, I'll see you this afternoon at 3.30. Otherwise, I'll talk to you on Wednesday morning on the Daily Call. Bye for now.